What's happening guys welcome your beautiful faces back to the channel and today we are continuing the coaching series this has been long overdue especially for season seven we're hopping into some diamond four gameplay now I'm not sure if this is going to be those higher tier pred lobbies or if it's going to be that static diamond four lobby regardless of the fact I'm super excited for today's video specifically because it's a special one we do have voices included so we have a full team communicating we get to see how they communicate which is going to be a bonus because I can also also talk about that that's going to help you guys out as well so without further ado let's go ahead like his video original video will be linked down in the description if you guys want to check it out let's leave our little watermark as well boom we should be good to go and what should we pick for today's color i'm thinking i'm thinking we do green we haven't done a green so let's get it started i don't want to talk too much because they're going to be talking as well so i want to hear what they're saying With us, they're all passive. Somebody yeah. grab this house. I'm grabbing this house. That's how we play this. I always get this house. We're by ourselves. All right, uh, Tio and Kelvin, no arguing, okay? You guys are best friends. Okay? I'm not arguing. Just no, I'm just, I know you're not arguing. I'm just saying, like, you know, future reference, you know, whatever. Uh, you know what you meant. What did I mean, Mer? You know, Mer, I don't like you stop talking to me. I apologize. No, you don't. Right off the bat, they are a little bit of arguing going on. I think it's just a little friendly banter. You know, when you get these ranked games and you start grinding as a team, stuff's going to happen. You're going to get upset, you know, with one another, but... Keep the vibes cool. Keep the vibes good. Overall, you're just going to play better as a team if you have better vibes. And I know rank can get to you, man. You can stress the heck out when you're playing hours at a time and you don't gain too, too much RP. The RP you should be getting, especially in these diamond lobbies. So let's go ahead and continue the video here. I think Mer doesn't even like playing Xbox with me. He just wants to fucking watch Mami-chan. That's all he wants to do. I mean, but she is pretty persuadable. Right. Yeah. So while they're looting up here, they landed at a little no-name town, uncontested. Very good drop here off the start. They're going to be able to get a setup, a nice loadout with a white or blue shield. Specifically, we have a blue here already, so that's not too shabby there. I swear, like, Mer, like, uh, this thing is a weirdo. Like, he really is. Like, what are you Mer, talking like, you really, about? No, nah, like, no, nah, like, uh, like, you're, you're just, you're, you're, you're just weird, bro. Like, you're like, uh, yeah, you're I want to hit diamond, and then, and then you don't even get on the game when we ask you to. And then you you want to watch you want to watch hentai more than you watch more than you want to play Apex. And then, um, <laughs> what is going on over here? Huh? Do anything for Jesus, so it seems like the reason they're arguing, not that I, you know I don't want to get too involved with them, but the reason they're arguing is one of their teammates I think is not playing the game as much. And you know when you're trying to go for these ranks that you want to achieve, let's say Pred, Master, you want to hit Diamond, you got to find that consistent squad, and you got to play or at least try to play every day. That's how you're going to get the most RP. And when I talk about consistency and gaining consistent RP, you need to play consistent to gain consistent RP. So it really matters when you play every day, especially with the same people over and over. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at their legend combination here. I paused the video. That way you guys can hear me nice and clear without them confusing you guys. So they're running Bangalore, Wraith, and Gibraltar. Really, really good setup here. Not going to lie. Bangalore goes absolutely huge on Olympus. The ult is massive, as well as the smokes. So Bang can be used like a reset character. If you guys need to reset as a team, maybe if you came off of a fight and then a third party starts coming in, Bang ult is going to go huge. It's going to spare you some time to heal, so that's a nice setup there. Gibraltar, obviously, without a doubt, you got the dome to reset. Beautiful legend choice on this map as well. And then obviously Wraith, you cannot go wrong with those portals. Transfer over, as well as the trident. I want to see if they take a trident this game, because those tridents go absolutely huge. Let's go ahead and continue oh this. But you're gonna go on scuff.com and order gaming powder. No, if I can get my stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, if you don't want to wait like well, 10 like, minutes, then I guess so. Faster and cheaper? No, I will do it. I don't wait, what? If I can get what I'm looking for on Amazon, I will get my. The what are you looking for? Powder and, uh, gaming powder. Gamer powder. He's talking about gamer grips. Do you actually have it? Yeah, it's because I. I <laughs> He's saying gamer like, powder. <laughs> Gamer grip actually helps. That's what I use. I use it mainly for my thumbs on the analog sticks. That way I'm super precise with my aim. Uh, overall, my hands don't get too, too sweaty. What does that mean? But it's nice to have gamer grip, especially if you haven't tried it before. Definitely worth trying. 
even if you have sweaty hands or not. I think it definitely helps with my aiming and make sure I'm not slipping on the analog sticks. I don't think sticks. you have my bro. You're like a normal player who gets sweaty in a fight. It happens to me too. My, my, my hands get really sweaty sometimes in a fight. All right, perfect. So they finished looting up that small town. They have a trident, which is exactly what I was looking for. This is going to help them come huge Yo, in some tough situations. Now let's see if they find a squad in this town here. Because if this town is not hit, this is a juicy town to get some nice loot here. It's like the other side of this thing. There's actually gunshots in yeah. that direction. But let's just head to the zone. If I'm Why okay, do I have three nibbles? Are we wait, going what the over fuck the wall? Did you just say? No? I would say hold about? this house. Hold this house. You gotta hold that house. <laughs> that was from a movie. I don't actually have three nibbles. Like, relax. Alright, so they're taking Balloon as a team. They want to hold that top house here. Not a bad spot to hold, especially because you have height there. Very little cover around this area. So right here, right now, very bad spot to get caught running. But obviously, he is playing Gibraltar. Quick dome, maybe throw an ult to reset. But I think they're good here. They can take this development nice and smoothly. But for sure, a high populated area right here. So I'm going to expect the fight. No, Very yeah. soon. A lot of teams rotating in and out of this area. Five squads left. He actually cut it in the editing. So there's only five squads left. Very, very quick game. That's surprising. I'm not going to lie. So it looks like the strat they're doing is sort of waiting for top five, which they do have right now, and then sort of engaging making sure they get that guaranteed rp so they're not losing too much it's already minus 18 so that's not bad at all it's a good strat to do wait top five then pick the fights you're gonna get guaranteed rp that way so let's see how it plays you out you don't necessarily have to be playing like this though in these lobbies if you're confident with your team you guys got good call outs good shots you can start roaming and taking safe fights and while they're just waiting here, let's take a look at his weapon combination. Running the Devo Mastiff. Now, the Mastiff is great, especially with Gibby. You can make some nice dome power plays. Quick peeks. But I don't know about this Devo. The charge up time's a little bit slow. He doesn't have a turbocharger on it, and it's not the best long range weapon. Yo, if they come up here, then they don't see us. Your mic is muted for the second time. I told you this already. Okay. I'm going to toss them down there. Oh, wait. There's some this? banter no, fights on the bottom there. Fight. Now, no, they have no, better positioning. No, no, no. They... We got height. We got height, and I can do this. Now, before anything happens, two teams fighting down here, okay? Their positioning is much better since they have height, but they can work down or possibly make a portal down. That can come absolutely huge. However, that portal distance is going to be very short. It's going to be cut maybe halfway through this. So with that portal from this house, I probably portal to around this area right here. At least there's cover on both sides of the portal. Now, is it going to be 100% safe to take it back? Absolutely not. But it's always a risk taking portals into a fight and then trying to take it out because there could be teams rotating from their backside, then maybe taking their positioning to hold them out but again only five squads left pretty big circle i mean he didn't really pull up the map but this is definitely a big circle for five squads so very unlikely that they'll get fourth partied because there's two teams down here they're looking to third party it because look how many squads there are left there's five total you have you guys and then two down here that's three looking for two more so again trying to fight this this might not be a bad fight to take but definitely make sure you get that portal down there it's a safety net do it do it it's a safety net what for I'm getting okay, go. I'm getting hits. I'm exactly, getting hits. That, exactly. It's a good fight right here. Definitely a good fight go. to take. There are already some knocks in both sides of the teams. Some e limbs. If they run down from this hill, they need to commit to the fight. You can't 50-50, like, what do you want to do? Gamble it or no? Gamble it or no? You don't want to be stuck in between. Look, at their one teammate's already split. Got to be together there. Let's go, then. Let's go. 
Yeah, trust your teammates and commit to the fight. Yes, well, armor's locked out red, Kelvin. Oh, cool. Beautiful. Looking for your teammates. Yo, on Theo. I'm trying. I'm popping a bat. Coming. Theo, what's the health? Call right out. here. She's Call out. almost gone. Almost gone. She's one shot. Nice. Let's see if they get 30 here. I'm curious. Stay in the dome. Stay in the dome. Whatever. He wasn't in it. I don't know why he wasn't in it. Guys, two teams left. Let's win this. Two teams left. There's two teams. Okay. Not a bad fight. Definitely a good cleanup there. Don't be scared to third. When you're thirding and you're fighting or whatever you're trying to fight as a team, you need to have full confidence going into it. You can't be like that 50-50 mindset because uh, when one teammate is committed, he's either going to go down or it's just not going to be good. You all have to be committed to a fight. You say you're going to fight this, you attack instantly. No hesitation because hesitation is what gets a lot of squads killed. But overall, really good cleanup there. A little bit lacking on the communication with the Wraith. Uh, ended up going down. Didn't really call out too much damage. You got to be calling out these damage instantly. How much you're hitting if you're cracking. And then where is that person pushing? Definitely ping when you're downed. So now he's looking at one kill point. Again, you get capped at five. Only three squads left. So it's going to be tough to get all of these kill points here. Especially because it was like a weird game. I mean, only five squads left. About halfway into the game. Let's see how it plays out. Teams left. Come on. And loot, loot quick. Loot quick. You see, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating right now. That doesn't mean I have hydrosis or whatever that shit is. Nah, you haven't. And loot quick. They need to rotate immediately. Loot this and get the heck out of here. Position back to the house they were up there. That would be the best spot for now. Right back to their old spot. Kelvin's like, you just don't think like me, bro. That was the, the good call. And if, and if we would have listened to you, we wouldn't have gotten KP. I know when to take fights, just to let you know. Man, it's cocky. Dead ass B. Dead ass B. Man, that, uh... Dude, I one clipped Pathfinder with the R9. That shit was good, let's bro. Move. Did one you take that, 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 nice. uh, that thingy, the mobiles? Oh, beautiful zip line uh, right back to their spot there. There's no point. It's, it's awesome. Teams left, dude. So there's two squads this left. Yo, Theoretically, you really, really don't want to be the first to engage in this kind of situation unless you know it's not a full team as one of the enemy squads. So let's say it's a 3v3 fair fight and then a solo. Or a duo. Then maybe you can engage first, but otherwise you don't really want to be engaging when it's last two here. I see him. Oh no, never mind. I just saw the, the, the purple the... things what? that are floating. I could have swore I just saw him. No, you probably saw the purple things floating, which be costing. Or the, the leaves or whatever. Mm, maybe. Oh wait. Enemy spotted. Oh, also he swapped over to the vault. Okay, Definitely a good choice there. That, smart move there. Get rid of that Devo. That charger time is very slow, especially without that turbo charger. It's got very little range as well, so not the best gun to be using for ranked. Especially on this map. So he saw them on the right side here. And they are going to flank around, but they are going to be losing zone if they do end up flanking around. If they're fighting, it's a good time to obviously flank and get to it immediately. I don't hear any shots yet, but the best way to actually push it if they are fighting around here would be from the, the front side. If you're pushing from the back, maybe they clean up a squad and they start rotating into the next zone. Then they're gate holding you and then you guys are going to be in shambles. So better to push in from the front if they're fighting here guaranteed. But right now, I mean, if they're not fighting, this is an okay play, but you are losing zone. Just keep that in mind. Zone. Let's see if they push. Yeah, he's talking about zone right now. Let's go back and hold circle. Perfect. Exactly. Hold, hold that. Hold that top house. That's the best position right there. Get that guaranteed win. Even with like one kill point, one, two, three, four, whatever. It's better to win with one to three kill points than lose. Why do you just punch, bro? I'm just curious. Um, because I was in the pause running thing, like I'm letting it auto run for me. Okay. Yo, is there a rat under this house? Yo! Wait, Bro. what was that? There's a rat. Was that, was that you? No, that wasn't no, that me. Was somebody else. No, right on me. It's two. It's a bangle. Ah, so they, unfortunately, they're forced to engage first here. Unless it's a solo. They're talking about a solo. Yeah, hold just hold the high note. The other team's gonna be pushing off in that one way. Get inside. No, 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 we're good. Right here, right here, right here. Right here, right here. 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 Right here.
See, I wouldn't worry about a solo too, too much. Yeah, focus on that main team in front. There you go. Because now they have to push up, but they're going to be wide in the open. And you're just about to have your ult to actually hold them out. I think it's a solo bang, I think. It just booted me out the game, bro. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. See, I got a dome. Yo, get him, 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 get him. Counter, counter roll. Easy counter roll right here. There it is. I think it was a little bit too late. They're probably going to run past it. Take the houses. They're taking the light. They're going to go for this house. They're going to go for this house. Ah, good shots. Ah. And they got a caustic. They're in, they're in here. He's healing. There's a caustic in the Gibby. Watch out. So they trade. Right here, they traded Nox. Uh, he doesn't have a gold bag, by the way, but they traded Nox. So he's down, obviously, but they down someone else. So it's a caustic Gibby versus Bangalore Wraith. I wouldn't res right in front. They can just open that door, throw a caustic ult, another trap, whatever. It's going to be risky. Definitely try to get a portal out of here. Maybe back to their original house. Make that portal quick because the other team is waiting to third party. All right, even if it was a solo bang, maybe it wasn't even solo. Who knows? But make sure that portal is down instantly. Man, what are you doing? Let's see if he portals. Because that's way too risky I to try to rise in front. Oh, Bangalore's down too. Yeah, yeah now he definitely needs a port. Okay. All right, so portal goes out. Ah, he's got to crawl to it. At least he'll get banged up in time. And they are also counter resing right now. So it should be a valid fair 3v3 fight. So both teams should be able to reset here. Let's see how they play it. Oh, they're fighting. What? Why am I sliding? Yeah, they slid down. They need to push immediately. They need to send right now. There's so many knocks. Look at all these knocks. And he's got a knock as well. That's beautiful. Yeah, they're healing. Someone's healing in this house. Yep, 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 yep. Go inside. Don't Wait. care if there's gas. I don't care if there's gas. I'm going in. Yo, I'm me. Nice. Headshot. Wraith nice. nearly cracked. Clean that up. Got beautiful. Got her, got her. Good job. Let's go. One more in here. I think it's a caustic left. Um, One for he's Rez? Healing, no healing. way. No chance. Nice. GG's. Well played. Good game. Good game. So it was a little bit of a slower lobby. I mean, they didn't really see anyone until top five, but it is that safe approach of making sure you're not fighting until top five. That way you're not losing that much points if you do end up losing a fight when you try to take one. The downside to playing like this is you're not going to have the most loot unless you get really lucky. You're able to loot quite a few towns that haven't been hit. But overall, they took really good fights, very smart fights. And I think they did a really good job. Let's go ahead and check out that stat board. I'm curious how much... I don't know if they got the full KP or not. I didn't actually right. Two kills, kind of three, stuff. zero. Right. So not bad at all. They got sort of the minimum kill points, anywhere from one to three, plus the wins. So that's going to be absolutely fine when you're trying to rank up, when you're trying to gain that RP. And you don't really want to worry about getting max kill points because sometimes that will throw your game taking these unnecessary fights or risky, risky fights. Then you can just throw your game and, you know, even if you get the kills, you get third party. The kills are going to go to down the drain, basically. And I always say I'd rather win with anywhere one to three kill points and get a win than lose with max kill points. But nevertheless, that is going to wrap up today's coaching series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys want your video featured, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Link is down in the description and DM me with the link to the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this special sort of coaching series where we have the communication in here. Also, let me know in the comments if you liked it better. Do you like having that communication feature in the videos or do you like it when there are no comms at all? Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, this has been your boy, Salt and D. I'm signing off. Peace. Thank you.